Good afternoon, people, and how we doing? <clears throat> Monday when I uploaded that video, I had a couple of guys comment and wanted me to do a walk around on my truck. Now, some of you guys have been with the channel for a little while. You may know that my first video was a walk around, but you know what? I'll be the first one to admit it was my first video and I was pretty stiff and uh, let's be honest, that video is pretty jacked up. Anyway, so I thought it would take a time, take the time and do another walk around and just, you know, highlight some of the areas of my truck that I, I think are pretty nice. Um, I did purchase the truck out of Cincinnati from a uh, gentleman that was in the Marine Corps. Uh, it's a 2002 Dodge Ram uh, 2500. Uh, six speed, it is the HO high outfit. Um, it's, it's been in Ohio for two years. He drove it back when he was done in the Marine Corps in 2015. So, pretty excited about how clean the truck is. Just not really excited on how much sun fade there is. So, but you know, paint something that can be fixed. Anyway, before we get started, I have to show you something. This is called a Freestyle Rocker by a company called GCI Outdoor. One of the dads at my son's football practice the other day had one of these and I just I fell in love with it as soon as I had it or had it really I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it there that's better it's kind of like the pod light you know from my canic so you know this thing is I just I had to go get one so I found them at Dunham Sports and went and picked one up you see that right there so now my wife and I will be uh, able to be comfortable at his football games. Anyway, let's get to the, the truck. Uh, that way I can stay on subject. Those of you know, it's hard for me to do that. All right, what I, like I said, this is an O2 blue. It has method wheels. Uh, I believe they're the 305s General Grabber tires. Tires are a 35, 12, 50, 17. Um, exhaust. I do know the exhaust tail section is a MBRP. As far as the rest of the exhaust, I'm not 100% certain um, because that was done before I purchased it. So I did not do that. Uh, originally, it had an axle dump on it and I just didn't like it so I changed it and reused the tip they had on it which I'm gonna be changing that it's a, it's a seven inch tip um, not a big fan of the bigger tips so I'm gonna put a smaller one on there Dana 80 rear Dana 60 front um, it has a Carly suspension lift on it uh, rear spring pack not blocks I mean, you can see how, just go off subject here just a minute. You can see how clean that frame is. I mean, just no scale whatsoever. So, pretty stoked. Pretty, very happy about that. Um, the tires, the tires actually, when I first purchased the truck, it had a 37, uh, 1350 on it. And I just thought that was stuffed way, way, way too tight. So he had a light bar mounted down here below the hitch and then also up on top of the cab. So I elected to take those off. I just, you know, personal preference. Um, the only thing I don't like is now I've got three holes that were drilled into the top of my cab, top of my cab that I've got plugged. Um, anyway, back to the story. So a guy had these tires on Craigslist for sale and I thought, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I te text him and asked him if he'd be interested in trading for some light bars and he got back to me and says actually yes my girlfriend wants a set of light bars for her Duramax. So long story short I traded the two light bars that I got with the truck for the tires that are on the truck. So and then was able to sell the Toyos. So it was kind of a win-win for me. Interior 
there's my shifter um, NB5600. I do run pillar gauges, pyrometer on the bottom, boost in the center, and then fuel pressure in the middle. I'm sorry, on the top. Uh, leather interior, non-heated seats, which I'm kind of bummed about. Uh, Two-tone gray, corresponding in the back. It does have a uh, sub box underneath the seat and then two amps behind the seat, which were in the truck when I purchased it. <clears throat> I believe those amps are focal, but I'm not 100% certain. I can't remember exactly. I've only had the seat out once or twice. Um, run the edge comp box. Of course, I don't have my keys or I would turn it on. And so you can see right now, um, I'm averaging what the truck says, 23 miles to the gallon. Now, I have not had the ECM reprogram for the 35-inch tires. So, I'm right around 5 miles off. And I average it out between tank load, doing the math. I'm getting right around 19 miles to the gallon. So, with 35-inch tires, I'm super stoked about that. I mean, that's you can't go wrong. Um, I think I mentioned over there, yeah, the, the as far as having the Carly. It's a complete carlite system with coils and then also opted for the King remote reservoir shocks all the way around. I did do the 4th gen bumper swap with uh, rigid cubes in the factory fog light uh, location. Um, found those brackets actually on Amazon. so. I picked up a set of those brackets because I had already had the cubes in my factory bumper um, as you can see in some of my older videos. So I just uh, utilized those in the factory fog lamp location. Pass, shot of the passenger side. The carpet, uh, it's stained. It's not the best, but that, that's one of those things that can be replaced. Go up here and take a little peek under the hood. Doing a pusher style intake elbow. I am running a Borg Warner S300 turbo uh, k and cold air intake. I do have a turbo blanket on it and I do have the downpipe wrapped. Um, I did the turbo blanket and I also did the uh, downpipe um, XDS three-piece exhaust manifold uh, DAP 200 horse injectors I think they're a little bit big I probably will switch those out and put some smaller ones in you guys with second gens if you're gonna be doing a second gen or a fourth gen bumper swap on your second gen you guys check out enthusiast performance on eBay they sell brackets on there. A raw set of brackets is $89.95 and a painted set of brackets is uh, $105.95. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can go directly to those eBay pages. <clears throat> um, perfect, perfect bracket. Awesome company to work with. Uh, very fast shipping. Uh, their company is out of Texas. I'm in Ohio. And I had them within probably around five days. Uh, ARP head studs. Uh, they are the ARP 2000s, which I believe is been superseded by the 425s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I have done the transmission as far as fluids and the transfer case. Transmission, I'm running the Sankara mesh. Um, from Amsoil, it's a new uh, standard transmission. I am running an extra quart. And the transfer case, I am running also Amsoil. It's the ATF Plus, which is the red container. Make sure and turn this way. It's kind of bright out there today. Um, engine, I just changed my engine oil. I went with a company out of Mount Gilead, Ohio. Now this company is Lubrication Specialties and their product is Hot Shot Secrets. Their oil is Blue Diamond. 
you know what for a fuel additive oil additive and oil i will never use another product i use i have a container a bottle of it up here this is a 32 ounce bottle that is their everyday diesel and then this is the diesel extreme and hot shot secrets i'll also put a link below in the description for their website if you guys get a chance check out their website they have all kinds of additives whether it be gas or diesel um right now they got some promotions going on with uh free shipping on every order and a 32 or 64 ounce bottle of stiction eliminator with purchases over 35 dollars so check them out um when i did my oil change i did use the blue diamond oil which is a 5w40 um it's just a, a better oil for colder climates like this and cold starts it's still a 40 weight viscosity but it, it just helps with a cold startup because you know maybe not leaving your engine heat up and letting that oil get to the top of the engine it just it allows for you know a better oil in colder temperatures and then i also put in their fr3 uh, friction reducer i did send in an oil analysis from my rotella 1540 um, I don't know how accurate it's going to be because I did have their stiction eliminator in for right around 1,500, uh, 2,000 miles. So um, as far as my oil analysis, I don't know how accurate it's going to be. Um, I will be putting the results on, in one of my videos for you guys to see also. Um, their, their everyday diesel, that's just a big bottle that... I purchased but I keep this one in my truck right here and it's a squeeze bottle you fill up the top by squeezing it and then you just dump it in uh, before every uh, I, I put it four ounces in per tank load so my truck holds I think 32 34 gallons of fuel and I put in four ounces per tank load so um, it's you know i use it it's it's been dyno proven by uh firepunk diesel out of plain city so you know they proved it on a dyno that their product works so you know check them out um one of the other things i think i'm going to do also is a roll pan um i just you know give me your thoughts Rear bumper, roll pan, I don't know. Uh, one of the other things also that's done is the bed is Linux. And there's my old second gen bumper. I don't, haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that yet. Another thing I have, I'm thinking about doing also is all my accents. I'm gonna do red. I think red and blue go well together because I am gonna repaint the truck blue again instead of doing a color change. But my spike lug nuts, I want to do those in red and then also all of these bolts around that's just a quarter 20 uh flange head bolt that's in there and you know they'll come out and then i'll put them back in but I, i'm going to have all that stuff powder coated in red and then also my accents underneath my hood being uh you know the the intake elbow the turbo housing um my turbo tubes stuff like that um probably do the uh, valve cover in red also and uh, one other thing the truck does have a fast 150 on it it's one of the older red tops um, other than that I, I think I have covered pretty much everything guys you get a chance you know check out my other videos let me know what you think you know what give me a thumbs up if you like the videos give me a thumbs up hit that like button down there also subscribe if you like what I'm doing, you want to see what I'm going to do next, subscribe to my channel, and then you guys will be the first to know when I upload. So, once again, thank you guys very much. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later on. Bye-bye.